Praise God, praise God, praise God. We're going to spend a little time in prayer and um, just to give you an update on different things. And thank you for those that are joining us now and for those that will join us later. And, um, and I'm sure that you will agree with me that we need to pray. <laughs> and after we finish praying, pray some more and pray some more. And as I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, you know, we are at war. The enemy has declared war against Christians, against churches, against believers. And we need to rise up in the name of Jesus Christ and declare war, war on the devil's war. So I, I hope that this don't scare you, but it, it gives you an understanding that Uh, just because a Christ, you're a Christian doesn't mean that there is nothing against you. Of course there is. You know, the Bible says that before we were dead to, I mean, darkness to the light, the battle will still will be there more intense than it was before, before the enemy had us. Now he lost us, and now he will want to regain us back to slavery, uh, to sin, and um, which he has done many times over the centuries and has caused many to leave the faith, to uh, renounce Christianity and whatnot, uh, and deceive them in, in thousands of ways, which I don't have time to go over them. But I want you to uh, pray for, um, and we'll mention names. Uh, as you know, we're praying for a fellow in Alberta, a pastor, a uh, man of God that Uh, it's been there now for a couple of weeks or so, and um, uh, about a week ago they gave him. They said, uh, you know, he might not be he might not be alive past tomorrow. Well, he's still alive. His oxygen is getting better. I mean, he's gone from 12 liters. I believe the last I heard was about seven liters. And uh, when I went through it, um, you know, I, I had I had about 12 liters, and then I had to bring it down to zero which it took me a week of a lot of things that I had to do in order to, to do that. So I understand what he's going through. And uh, so another fellow before that, and he was in ICU. He was in the ventilator and all of that. And he, uh, I was able to talk to him four days before he came out of the hospital. Um, and, um, and he lost his voice, so I was able to speak to him, and I sent him my testimony of what I went through, a uh, similar situation that he was going through. And he's out of the hospital now, and uh, he's at home recuperating. He's still, his voice is still not 100%, and, and the rest of his body, uh, of course. Uh, but I was talking to him today, and it just touched my heart, you know, that um, uh, while he was in the ventilator, he, uh, his son, I guess uh, maybe 20 years old or something like that, His son uh, really uh, had an episode where he tried to kill his mother. And, um, and he's going to court tomorrow. So there are maybe some mental issues there or he's napped or whatever because uh, he's now in jail. And, um, and uh, I mean, my heart just went out. I just, you know, I... He sent me the details, and I didn't even want to send it to, um, to you know, he's praying and reading the Bible at home, but um, it affected the whole family on fear, and and, um, and and this is a Christian home. This is a praying home. This is, um, uh, you know, these are the things that we don't understand sometimes, but, uh, but uh, hey, God is in control, and... Um, And uh, I keep saying, we are in the last days. And because of that, that we're getting closer to the last days, God is requiring for us to pray as we have never prayed before. You know, I, 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 I'm going to uh, Toronto soon for a while. And, uh, you know, the main word that God is giving me is pray, 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 pray. And after we finish praying and praying and praying and praying, we need to do some more praying and praying and praying. So um, uh, please hold this family in prayer. And um, his name is Daniel. 
and uh, same name as my my uh, my son, and uh, but he's a little older. He's I think he's in his twenty or so, twenty twenty one, and uh, <clears throat> I believe that this situation will be turned around, and uh, to the glory of God, it will, it will. So uh, and you know, mental illness. It can be mental illness. It can be whatever. Um, you know, God is in control, and we got to pray for that. So at the end of this, we want to pray for that. So, you know, my thought that has been going through, I mean, um, we're going to pray for the situation, and I want to pray for you as well. Just a quick thought. You know, my thought in the past few days is this, is that there has been so much divisions in churches. You know, the Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We don't wrestle against each other. But yet, even though we we know this is scriptures. We are so hard-headed that we're still wrestling against each other. We gossip about each other. We um, gossip about other Christians. We gossip about pastors. We gossip about this and about that, and and, and you know, and we cause divisions, right? And, and then you know, and I heard a pastor yesterday, you know. Uh, Saying, saying about the divisions as well, uh, especially with COVID-19 and the vaccines and all of that. He has divided. If you're pro the vaccine, uh, the other ones don't. Jesus prayed, you know, before he went, he says, that they, Father, that they may be one as we are one. God is for unity. You know, we, we, the only enemy that we have is just the devil and his demons. That, that, that's the that's the only enemies that we have is the powers of darkness. But it's not your brother and it's not your sister, it's not your Christian friend, it's not your spouse, it's not your it's not your kids, it's not your husband, it's not your pastor, it's not the leaders, it's not the government, it's not. We wrestle against the devil, and we got and we got to do that. And you know, and I believe you know this quote comes to mind. Right now, and I believe that the reason that that we don't accept that scripture the way we should, because our actions tells us if we accept it or not, and I, and I don't see that as much. You know, I still see people. You know, as I preached last week, backbiting and divisions, and and we don't. You know, we're not uh, displaying the fruit of the spirit. We're displaying more the fruit of the flesh. Uh, there's more carnality and stuff like that. And those are the things that divide us. And how in the world can God move uh, in our midst with those kinds of attitudes, you know? And I, and, I, and I encourage you, if you got caught up with gossip and criticizing other Christians or pastors or governments or anything like that, I mean, repent. Repent because, you know, you're not in the right standing with God. You may feel the presence of God. You may feel the shakes and this and that. But, you know, God is not for that. God is not for that. You know, we got to protect the body of Christ. We got to protect churches. We got to protect Christians. We got to protect it. We got to protect it in the name of Jesus. We are at war. Look at this family. That could be us. That could be my family. That can be your family. That can be your neighbor's family. That can be your sister's family, your brother's family. That can be anybody's family. Imagine a Christian home and, and uh, one of the boys, uh, the son, is in jail, facing probably many years in jail for what he's done, or go to a mental place, to mental uh, institution. So, you know, I mean, you know, you don't raise kids to send them to a, to a mental institution or you don't raise kids for them to go to jail. So we got to wake up. We got to wake up. We got to wake up. Please, you know, just if you got, if you caught up in a web of gossip and criticizing and, and all of these things, you know, repent, repent. All that, my, that God may search our hearts our hearts, and, and, and that we may say, forgive us. You know, I say, God, forgive me. If I got caught up in any gossip, any criticism, forgive me. Cleanse us from this and help us to pray for, for those that we love. Help us to pray for those that don't love us. Help us to pray for our friends. Help us to pray for the enemies, as the scripture uh, command us to, command us to. Amen. So uh, anyway, so let's pray for this family, and I want to pray for you. It was just a short little 
uh, pray with me message for you. But you know, let's 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 seek unity. I mean, uh, I tell you, I tell you, that's that's the reason that <laughs> the disciple got so frustrated, and he says, you know, let's go. He says, you know, forget about here, forget about that, forget about this, forget about that. He says, let's go after the lost sheep of Israel. You know, <laughs> so so sometimes, you know, sometimes we have to understand that, our, you know, we have to, uh, you know, not only believe, but we have to be uh, display that we believe that scripture, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh, but against principality. Why? Because we're at war. And if you're out of place, if you're not in the right standard with God, you can be blown away. And you can't afford, I cannot afford to be blown away. So I must live tippy-toeing before the Lord, keeping my, my life pure and, uh, and, and, and my mind in, in place so I can say I am not ignorant of the devices of the devil. So I can say that. Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray for this young fellow, Father God, in jail right now. Uh, a Christian that has... Surrender his life to the Lord, and, and he snapped whatever the details are, oh God, and how this affected that family. We pray, Father, for your will to be done there tomorrow in court, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, just uh, bring him to that place, oh God. Uh, I know you have revealed yourself to him, and I pray, Father, that whatever the problems are, I pray, God, that you will heal those situations, maybe family problems or whatever, Father God, heal that in the name of Jesus. And I can't against the fear that the, the, the family is experiencing, uh, the sister and the mother and all of that, and the pain and the agony to see their brother or their sons or their son going through what they're going, what he's going through right now in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, cover that family with your precious blood. Oh, God, we destroy the works of the devil, oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we pray, God, that you will have your way in this situation. Let God arise in the home, oh, God, and let the enemies be a scatter in Jesus' name. Be with Bob as well as, uh, as he's getting better step by step. Be with the family there, oh God. Heal him, touch him, Father God. And minister to him in that hospital, oh God, as you minister to me, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And let your will be done, your will, Father. Remove our, our wants and our wills, oh God. Let our wills be lined up with the will of God for our lives, oh God. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray, Father, for our listeners. I pray, God, for, for the thought that I gave about gossiping. Oh, God, there are seven things that you hate, God, and one of them is one that causes discord among brethren, the divisions, the, the, the gossipers and all of that, and talking behind people's back and stuff like that, Father God, in the name of Jesus, destroy that, oh, God, and expose it, oh, God, I pray, forgive us. Lord, forgive me if I got caught up in anything like that. Forgive me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I don't want to have any obstacles between you and I, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And so forgive us in Jesus' name. And Father, bless home, bless relationship, bless marriages, O oh God. We pray for those who love us. We pray for those that don't love us. We pray for those that, that, that pray for us. And we pray for those that hate us, O oh God. We pray for our enemies, O oh God. Bless them, Father God. Let their eyes be open, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that they will see you as you are. And then when we see you as you are, then we will act accordingly. We will walk in the light as you are in the light, and we will have fellowship one with another. There will be unity. There will be beautiful things, oh God, I, uh, right out of your word. Oh, God, how lovely it is when brethren dwell together in unity because that's where you pour the oil, the spirit of the living God, and that's where you command the blessing upon us. So, Father God, command the blessing upon us as we seek unity among us. So, God, we ask, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Cleanse our hands uh, from our sins, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, and let us repent and never return to that. 
For we ask it in no other name, but in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen and amen. Our, and let us pray how he taught us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Wherefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow in things of heaven, earth, and under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God our Father. Amen. God bless you. Let us keep holy, for without holiness nobody will see the Lord. Let us walk the walk of righteousness. Let us understand that we're no longer our own, but we've been bought by a price, and our temple is the, the temple of Holy Spirit. We have the mind of Christ, all of that. Let, let, you know, we're completing him. We're complete. Don't break that completeness by entertaining carnality and, and, and flesh and all of that. No, live a life of repentance daily. Search, you know, and the Bible says, examine yourself to see if you're in your faith. Meaning examine yourself and, and look at the mirror of the Word of God to see if, if you are in the faith, if you are obeying the Word. Amen. God bless you. I love you. And this is Brother John for Revival Hour. And guess what? I am fighting for you. Bye for now.